All right, so here's a look at the uh, RGB uh, selfie ring light I got. Found a deal. Uh, I believe it's pronounced Wissaki is the brand. And, uh, interesting sort of slogan there, but I um, guess they're just trying to make it user-friendly is what they're kind of trying to say there. So I don't know if there's a lot of real markings on the box. But, uh, Light. Uh, yeah. so we have the stand and the bolt kind of just fell out, so let's a look at where that. I guess that goes in there. So I'm sure there's a nut in there somewhere. I'll take that out and put that in. Work stuff. Instructions. All right, so here are the instructions. I beg I can actually read it. And assemble everything. So I'll read through this and um, get everything set up. But uh, a quick look here. Hardware there, phone holder, A small stand for the uh, for this other lamp. Camera remote. And a really good size ring light here. So, and manual control on there. So, I'll take a quick look at the instructions and get it assembled and take a look. All right, so just a little bit of look at the uh, some of the assembly and discovered this is a tab holder. It comes with two phone holders, and so what I've already done is uh, put the mounting on here. This unscrews. And if you slip that in there, I'm just kind of press that in there. And these just screw on. Mm, Miss the red of it. There we go. So just gotta get started right. There's thread on there. So I mounted both of those. They uh, you can have two or just put one of the phone holders in there if you so desire. And then there's the uh, mount here to put it onto the tripod. Screw it in there. So that will snug on there and hold that. This uh, tightens that. So there's that. All right, so next is to pull out the uh, tripod here. And this was my missing, uh, the bolt that was falling out. This just needed to be threaded on there to... Uh, 
do that. So I guess that just came loose in shipping. No problem there. So with this being loose, tripod should slide down. as much as you want for this extra height or for some more stability if you want it out a little more. And tighten that to lock the legs. And then uh, got height adjustments each of these. So this one will Come out and so we'll this one I believe. So probably uh, get pretty high. Let me uh, pull it up and see how I can get it. Okay, so to fasten the ring light on the tripod, there's a little cap on here to protect the threads there, so that has to come off. And then the uh, ring light should. Just thread right here. Tricky with that cord there, but I think it finally got it threading. Or maybe I should just hold the ring light and turn the tripod, but there we go. So that's yeah, nice and tight, and then this will allow the ring light to pivot. Fasten in what position you want, more upright or pointing down. So we got that, and then the um, tablet holder. that like that and turn the tablet in whatever direction I want to preview or whatever and each of the, the tablet and the phone has a spring-loaded mechanism here to fit your device Same thing here. And uh, they have that ring on the back here that uh, secures them on there. And you can loosen, tighten, and pivot whichever direction you want to go. Alright, so this little light screwed right on the, this tripod and the legs can. Uh, kind of be easily pulled out to any position you want. So I'm going to start looking at the remotes and play around with the lighting sequences and things here. Um, I don't think it mentions it in the instructions, but there's these little plastic tabs that are preventing the battery from um, being used during shipping. So you need to pull those out. So I will plug these guys in with a USB um, adapter to power there and play with them a little bit. All right, so let me try to give a demo of this, uh, the small light here. I think they call it the sunset lamp, something like that. So you can actually turn it on and off. And I think I have it on white right now, but you can 
So I go through the colors here and the individual colors, you can increase and decrease the brightness here and pick individual colors as you like. Um, you can just see kind of lighting up there. Um, I get the right angle on the controller here. So there we go. So green. And over here, the different modes, they're actually a little bit um, mislabeled. So this says strobe, but strobe is actually right here. It just starts cycling through the colors. And then there's a couple different um, modes of fading through. different fading modes and this lets you cycle through there. Um, doesn't control brightness when you're in these other modes. And then you can put it back to single colors if you want. Again, decrease and increase the brightness. And then off and on. All right, so the ring light itself here comes with uh, this remote and the manual controls that do exactly the same thing here. We turn it on and off by that, or on and off here. So I'll just use the remote. So turning it on, and from just right here, you can do mode, which would turn it to um, whiter light and getting a little more um, uh, yellow, uh, you know, more daylight instead of the harsh bluish kind of thing. So pick your color there and should be able to um, decrease the brightness or increase the brightness from the remote. And obviously on and off we saw, uh, so the RGB button allows you to go into different modes here. One of them is this uh, rotating and the plus and minus here don't control the brightness but the speed so I can increase the speed on that slow it down and there's just all kinds of different fun things here and again you can speed that up or slow that down So I think it just cycles through these different modes. I'm not sure there's a way to uh, program anything there, but so you can control the brightness on some of the modes there. Wow. And strobe. Okay, let's turn that off. Oh, good. All right. And there we go. All right. So these should allow us to change brightness, I think. So there's a look at some of the different color options, all kinds of fun you can have there. And it does come with the uh, 
Bluetooth remote here that you can pair to your phone or whatever device to start and stop the camera. And we'll be able to clip it on to uh, keys or hang it on the uh, ring light itself or something like that. Um, it does have, have the two phone stands. I will probably use this with just one phone stand in the middle. You can uh, configure that however you like. And uh, I did check the height of the uh, max height on the tripod, and that's about five feet, about 152 centimeters. So uh, pretty, pretty high up there if you need it. So I am uh, really pleased with this. Does uh, what I need. It does a ton more. I'm not really going to probably use all of these uh, color flashy mode kind of things, but um, for just uh, lighting up, taking some videos kind of like this. So uh, hope this is a helpful video and a helpful look for you. Again, this is the Wissaki. Hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, Selfie ring light, I uh, believe it's, uh, they rated it 13 inches, whatever that is in centimeters. So hope that helps. Have a great day.